Hi, I'm Arkansas Treasurer State Dennis Milligan with your Financial Education Book of the Month. This is Dr. Seuss's One Cent, Two Cents, Old Cent, New Cent. So let's delve right off into it and see what we can learn today about money. So I'm the cat in the hat and you know something funny? We're all about to have fun learning all about money. Where does it come from? Can you answer that please? I will give you a hint. It does not grow on trees. So you can see that picture right there. Just one penny each it will cost you to see the museum of money step up and pay me. People bartered to buy things in ancient times. They did not have pennies or nickels or dimes. This meant that a beekeeper might want to swap his store of honey for a farmer's wheat crop if the farmer liked honey. A deal could be struck if the farmer liked jam. It was the keeper's bad luck. Perhaps that is why money was invented. It was easier to use and decay was prevented. It was easy to carry and count, and what's more, it was easy to save, and that was easy to store. What an old form of money. I'm so glad you asked me. I'll give you a hint. It came from the sea. Seashells were used to barter and trade a handful of shells, and you had it made. So there's another picture right there identifying that about seashells. Feathers and eggs and leather and jade are some other things of which money was made. But eggs could get scrambled and leather got dirty. Money needed to last, be solid and sturdy. So people mined ore, copper, silver, and gold. They melted it down, poured it into a mold. In the shape of a bar, these ingots were made. Folks hauled them around and would use them in trade. In the king of Lydia, part of Turkey you see, the Lydians made ingots in 900 BC. Then someone in Lydia had a brainstorm, make metal coins, a far handier form. We've dug up these coins all over the place. Each coin has a lion's head stamped on its face. The Lydians were sailors and you may have read, that's how the use of their coins might have spread. Here's a fact I'm happy to tell you. Folks other places begin to make coins too. In China, the farthest of eastern places, some coins shaped like cow rees had lines on their faces. Other coins contained holes for a string to pass through so coins could be carried together with you. A string of such coins added up to a cash. You tied up the string on a belt or a sash. So you can see that picture right there demonstrating that. In Greece, they stamped coins with various things, like a picture of Pegasus, the horse who had wings. This coin has an owl on its face, and my guess, it stood for Athena, the wisest goddess. Not even today, some heads of state put their heads onto coins like Caesar the Great. Here's a fact that we think is so neat. Money's made in a mint, not the kind that you eat. Thing one and thing two are about to mint dimes. Mints work much the same as in ancient times. How to make a dime? One step at a time. This is brought to you by one thing and thing two. Heat metals together until they are hot and melted to goop inside of a pot. <laughs> Pour goop in a cast, also known as a mold. Strike goop with an image before it turns cold. Remove from the cast, oh isn't this funny? Time to have fun with your shiny new money. And we'll take a picture of that right there for you too. Ancients kept money where they prayed and gave thanks. In this way, the temples became the first banks. To temple you went to save or to borrow for as long as two years or as short as tomorrow. Interest is the name for the fee that you owe to the bank for the money they loan you, you know. When your money is saved in a savings account, 
the bank then pays you a smallish amount. The smallish amount that the bank pays you is the interest you've earned and it's only your due. The smallest coin ever, it's so hard to see, see the Indian Phantom next to the BBs. You would think that they might lose count of their hoard, but dents in some wood make a neat counting board. From the islands of Yap come the heaviest ones, limestone coins, eight feet wide and weighing three tons. Carrying these coins, some Yap ships sank. Could you fit a Yap coin in your piggy bank? Traveling to parts of the new world with me, here are some Spanish coins I would like you to see. Spanish explorers, Spain's an explorer, excuse me, sent home from the new world as freight, golden double blooms and pieces of eight. The most valuable coins in those parts were these. To steal them, some pirates sell all seven seas. American settlers minted coins such as these stamped with the image of local trees. For money, the natives strung seashells and beads into belts of wampum for their trading needs. When it became a new nation and free, the United States minted its own currency. I have some with me, as you can see, I have many. The kind that I have is the little red penny. It was made in the year 1793. Here's what that half cent you might like to see. Here's another one, it's also red. It's the penny we know as the Indian head. In 1909, that's the year I'm thinking, we begin to mint pennies with the face of Abe Lincoln. During World War II, a brave time I do feel, pennies were made out of zinc-coated steel. We needed the copper for wartime, but then after the war, we used copper again. Some pennies I've shown you from so long ago are worth nearly $1,000 or so. Here is a great word you can add to your list. A collector of coins is a new Matist. Pennies to dollars. We meant the whole range, but mostly we use all these coins to make change. It's, pro it's paper that's king, but paper gets rotten, so we make paper money from linen and cotton. When you study your money, and these days who bothers, you will find it on its faces of our nation's fathers. On the $10,000 bill, you will find the face of Abe Lincoln's treasurer, Salmon Portland Chase. Will you find one around? No, you probably won't. They no longer print bills of this size. No, they don't. If they print them again, do you think maybe that? They might use the face of the cat in the hat. And that concludes the reading of Dr. Seuss's book, One Cent, Two Cents, O Cent, New Cent.